An anagram is a word that has had its letters rearranged. The word argoc, for example, is an anagram of the word cargo. How can we identify whether or not one word is an anagram of another? This is a simple problem to state, and for a person who has to identify anagrams, it's a relatively easy process. In fact, you might do it without even recognizing how you're thinking about it. But let's use a pair of larger words. Anti-disestablishmentarianism and hemesterabizdizantis. Are these two words anagrams? How would you go about finding the answer? Take a few moments to consider how you might answer this question using our computational thinking steps. Decomposing the problem, recognizing patterns, developing an abstract model or simulation, and designing an algorithm. Pause the video and then start it again after you've had a chance to think about your response. Here's one computational thinking analysis. One. Problem decomposition. There are a series of letters in each word, and we need to find a way to compare those letters. 2. Pattern recognition. The order of the letters doesn't matter. I really just need to find out whether the two words have the same letters in them, actually the same numbers of the same letters in each word. 3. Abstraction or model. If I think about each word as just being a list of letters, I could go through the lists of letters and compare them. My abstract model of the word is just a list of letters. 4. Algorithm design. Now, to go through and compare the list of letters, there are actually a few different algorithms that I might use to identify anagrams. If I were doing it by hand, I'd probably choose this first option. As I cross off letters on one list, I'll go through the other list and cross off the same letter when I find it. If I ever get to the point where I can't cross off a letter from both lists, I'll know that the words aren't anagrams. That seems to be pretty straightforward. Here's another possibility, though. I'll sort the letters in each word alphabetically and then go through both lists one letter at a time. If I find any two letters that don't match, I'll know that the words aren't anagrams. You might wonder which of these two strategies is more efficient, which one takes less time. It seems like having to sort through each of the lists to get them in order in the first place would take a whole lot of time by itself, and then you'd still have to go through and check off the letters one at a time. Here's a question. Which algorithm do you think will be more efficient, and why? Pause the video, and then start it again after you've had a chance to think about your response. This is one of those areas of computer science where it's possible to do some math to determine theoretically how long each of these algorithms will take, but that would require more math than we want to do at this point. It's also possible to write a short program to test our two different algorithms. We don't need to go into the details of this program. The syntax of the code isn't our primary interest here. Or, if it is of interest to you, you should take a computer programming class. For now, we're just interested in illustrating the fact that different algorithms can be more or less efficient. I'm going to start the Anagram Algorithm Tester program here. The anagrams I'm testing are a random collection of 100,000 characters, which have also been randomly rearranged to produce a second word of the same 100,000 characters. The two words are anagrams of each other. The first test will be the letter-by-letter -letter analysis, performed very quickly by the computer. And it took a little less than six seconds to run through the characters in those two words using our first algorithm. That's pretty good. Now let's try the second algorithm. For the same two anagrams, we're going to sort the letters in each word first, and then run through and compare them letter-by-letter. And, wow, less than a tenth of a second. Both algorithms successfully determined that the two words are anagrams, but one was obviously much more efficient than the other. When solving problems using computational thinking, we're always looking for an algorithm, a clear series of steps that will lead us to the answer. But it's also important to give some thought to how efficient our algorithms are. The better the algorithm, the more efficiently we'll be able to solve our problem.